welcome to Health Dialogue Show. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today we shine spotlight on breast cancer, breast health and breast cancer awareness. Now we all know that breast cancer affects millions but many people still rely on myths or outdated information when it comes to prevention and even screening. So in today's show, we aim to debunk some common myths and misconceptions and answer some practical questions about early signs, mammograms and even self-checks. Now by knowing these facts, the viewers can actually make informed choices and take proactive steps towards better health. Joining us today for this show, we have with us Professor Dr. Geeta Kadaiprat, Surgical Oncologist at Apollo Athena Women's Cancer Centre in Delhi. Professor Geeta is an MBBS MS and is a fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons. She is a highly skilled breast surgeon with over 30 plus years of extensive experience in this field. Based in New Delhi, she has dedicated her career to providing exceptional surgical care to patients, specializing specifically in breast health and related surgeries. Dr. Kadaiprat utilizes state-of-the-art techniques and the latest research to deliver the best possible outcomes for her patients. She is known for her compassionate approach, dedication to patient education and collaborative methodology. Now, she also remains committed to advancing her field through ongoing learning and participation in professional societies, positioning her as a trusted authority in breast surgery in the community. Her unwavering focus on patient-centered care makes her a valuable asset to those seeking support in her breast cancer journey. So, thank you so much for joining us today at Medical Dialogues. It's lovely to be having you on board thank here you. with thank us today. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, ma'am, starting with our first section, which is the rapid fire segment. So, there are a few myths and facts that people definitely need to know about. So, ma'am, just a myth or a fact. Wearing a tight bra or an underwired bra can cause breast cancer. No. So, there have been several studies that have been done and it has shown conclusively that underwire bras or black bras or tight bras can lead to breast cancer. Whatever you are comfortable in is good for you. Great. So, ma'am, again, a myth or a fact. Mammograms expose you to dangerous radiation. No. Again, a huge myth. And, you know, this myth continues to come back and bite us every now and then. But the fact is, that you get so much of radiation from the environment that you're not even aware of. You take a flight from Delhi to Mumbai, it gives you more radiation than a mammogram does, but we're not willing to talk about that radiation. <laughs> Great. Ma'am, a myth or a fact again, uh, once you have breast cancer, both breasts must be removed. Not true at all. So there are certain situations in which one may uh, be you know, advice to get both the breast removed, but those th that is relevant only to those women who have a mutation in their genes and their risk of developing breast cancer is close to anywhere between 60 and 80 percent. But otherwise, if you have breast cancer in one breast, that does not mean that you have to have both your breasts removed in all situations. Understood. Again, a myth or a fact, ma'am, breast implants increase the risk of breast cancer. Not true. Breast implants, again, have had their own journey. Um, there was a time when it was only implant-based reconstruction for a lot of women. And then it went out of repute because of a rare condition or a rare cancer that happens, which is known as anaplastic lymphoma. Uh, but that has been uh, associated with a certain type of an implant. But those implants have been replaced and now, you know, we still do a lot of implant-based reconstructions quite safely. Ma'am, myth or fact, no lump means no cancer. Not true again because um, lump is not the only symptom of breast cancer. There could be other symptoms as well like uh, bloody nipple discharge. There could be uh, some changes in the skin or the size of the breast. Uh, and other than that, if you want to get hold of cancer very, very early, it has to happen before it shows up as a lump, which means that it can be picked up on a screening mammogram in the form of specks of calcium, which is the earliest that you can catch cancer. And your outcomes are brilliant if you were to catch cancer that early. Again, ma'am, a myth or a fact, uh, using underarm roll-ons or deodorants can cause breast cancer. Not true. Again, a lot of research has gone into this bit also. 
uh, there was this theory that you know it clogs the pores in the uh, sweat glands of the um, armpit and can uh, give rise to breast cancer. That's not true. The re uh, research has proved it beyond doubt that uh, deodorants are not responsible for breast cancer. Great. So thank you, ma'am, for that rapid fire myth buster session that indeed was needed for our viewers to actually go and promote uh, to understand what actually breast cancer can lead to. Now, there are a few questions, ma'am, uh, that we would definitely want your expert opinion on. Uh, what are the most reliable early signs women and men should actually watch for? So incidentally, the commonest symptom is a lump. But the important thing to know is that it is almost invariably a painless lump and unfortunately this painless bit is what keeps a lot of women away from a hospital or a doctor because they keep waiting for a pain to show up before they actually land up with the doctor but the most common symptom is a painless lump so if you have a painless lump of a recent origin please do not hesitate to go and see a doctor and see it to its natural conclusion. Other than that, it could be nipple discharge, which is to be spontaneous. If you have expressed nipple discharge and you think it is something pathological, that's not true. So it has to be a single duct spontaneous. It can be watery or bloody. That could be a significant discharge. Other than that, if you were to see any dimpling in the uh, breast or if you see that your nipple is getting drawn into the breast, or if your skin of the breast looks like an orange peel, these are the other symptoms that could be associated with breast cancer and you should definitely see a surgeon once you see these symptoms. Understood. Uh, Ma'am, also there are there is a lot of confusion about when women should actually start getting mammograms done. So is 40 really the right age to get this diagnostic test? So, you know, there is a lot of people going around this screening mammogram, when should it be started? So, uh, America, which kind of heralded the era of screening mammograms and showed a very, very uh, good reduction in mortality to the tune of almost 30% uh, thanks to screening mammograms, are also going around in circles as to what should be the right age. So, they started off with a 40 every year, but in the last few years, they have raised that uh, age to 45. Um, and there is another, you know, competing organization which says that it should be 50. So they do keep doing a lot of back and forth but effectively they've settled at a 45 uh, wherein women should start getting screened every year. As far as we go, as far as India goes, there is no screening recommendation. Most of the screening is kind of uh, opportunistic but if one were to look at the risk, if there is a family history risk, if there are mutations in your family then you must go for a yearly mammogram starting upwards of 45. So 40 is not a great age for a mammogram because that's the time when we would expect your breast to be dense and we may not get the kind of information that we are seeking of a mammogram. Understood, definitely ma'am. So uh, again, uh, does having dense breasts automatically mark the risk of breast cancer? A higher dense breast means a higher breast cancer increased risk? So you know, um, Incidentally, dense breast is an independent risk factor for breast cancer and that is because when I say dense breast, it means on mammogram, the mammogram looks white and what is it that I'm looking for is also white. So white against white is absolutely no contrast and you just cannot make out whether there is anything within it. So a lot of times, you know, these, these are the cases where breast cancer can be missed even if you've got a mammogram done. So dense breast is a risk factor for breast cancer by itself. Great. Uh, Ma'am, we were talking about lumps. You mentioned about the appearance of lumps. So, if someone finds a lump but has a normal mammogram recently that they got screened for, should they still get checked? So, you were talking about pain association with lump. So, how true or how valid is that? So, I think that's a great question because, you know, uh, you must realize that there could be patients who be having lumps in the breast, they get an ultrasound or a mammogram done and a mammogram comes back as absolutely normal. So a mammogram can miss up to 20% of breast cancer. So there are some types of breast cancer which may not show up on mammogram at all. But if there is a lump that you feel, you must go back to your doctor and say, look, I know that, you know, and the doctor also would advise that if the mammogram and the ultrasound is not picking up anything and the index of suspicion is still high, you have to get to the next level of investigation, which would mean an MRI of the breast with contrast. So that is where uh, we would 
park our fears and an MRI should give us the answer in such situations where it is used as a problem solving tool. Great. Now, uh, ma'am, also coming to the biopsy aspect of breast cancer. Now, many people believe that a biopsy or an FNAC can cause breast cancer to spread. So, is there any truth to that? And also, when should what should one actually expect during the procedure when they are getting a biopsy or an FNAC procedure done? So, this is such a myth that we fight with every day. There are so many patients who will come and say, look, I don't want a biopsy, do whatever you must. Why don't you just take out the lump and uh, then figure out what it is? That's not the way it works. So, breast cancer is one of those cancers in which we just cannot make any headway without a biopsy and the biopsy does not cause cancer to spread. I keep telling them, you know, so many patients that I've treated in the past in the last 25, 30 years would not be coming back to me had the biopsy done them harm. So it's not true. So it is a very simple procedure and a biopsy does not mean that somebody is cutting through you and taking out a piece of your uh, lump and then putting stitches back. It is not like that. It is a very simple procedure which is performed by an interventional radiologist in the radiology suite under ultrasound guidance, it is done under local anesthesia and it is an absolutely painless procedure. It takes not more than five to seven minutes to do it. And once you're done, it's just a needle thing that is that just settles down very quickly and a dressing is put in place and the next day you can remove it and take a bath too. So it is an absolutely innocuous procedure, but gives us the information that we need to start treatment with uh, for the breast cancer because it tells us what is the type of breast cancer that we're dealing with? That allows us to determine what is the sequence in which we want to treat the patient. Will it be surgery first? Will it be chemotherapy first with targeted or immunotherapy? All of that is determined basis, this simple test, which is a biopsy. Understood. Uh, Ma'am, lastly, if you could just give one piece of advice to women who are watching this, what they should be aware of when they are going to know more and more about breast cancer? So I would say that uh, the only thing that you can do about for yourself is to be breast aware. Please make it a habit to examine yourself every month, a week after your periods, or if you're menopausal, you know, you could choose one date, but please do it diligently, deliberately, and do it very, very consistently so that if you get familiar with your breast, anything that goes wrong, you would know and you would be able to pick it up. And remember, painless lumps are not to be sat upon. Please make sure that you visit a surgeon and see to its natural conclusion. Great. So thank you so much once again for joining us and bursting lots and lots of myths that every common individual has nowadays uh, concerned with breast cancer. So thank you so much once again for joining us thank and you. giving us all your valuable insights on this must needed topic. Thank you so much. Thank you.